crypto fam. One more again for a chronic break. What's good? I'm out here. Fucking 12 o'clock. I'm up late tonight. 12 o'clock, 1210. Out here. Just watching some videos. Um, had a lot on my mind that dinner time, and I was thinking about about responding to some videos, and at the same time, I mean, then I had to catch myself and be like, of course, I should be thankful to being accepted in the crypto space and being topic of a discussion on more than two videos. Um, but you know, one of them kind of got under my skin because I kind of felt like it was directed towards, you know, me as being an ignorant person and like not understanding crypto and not doing research, not doing homework, having other people do homework, listening to Trayvon, you know, things like that. So I just wanted to clear up a few things. Like I've been, I mean, a lot of y'all already know, y'all see my, y'all heard my story, my original story. You know, I got in crypto back in the day. My first account on Coinbase uh, to buy Bitcoin. Um, I think it was around Litecoin. I, started, I bought a bunch of Litecoin. I bought a bunch of Ethereum. Litecoins was under three dollars. It was under three. I can't remember if it was like a dollar or some change, but it was definitely under three dollars. Ethereum's was around fourteen, eighteen dollars, something like that. Something crazy. Twenty-one dollars, somewhere around there. This is when. Uh, I didn't even know about any other coins. I just knew about those three. Before, so then um, got into that. I, I ended up getting that wallet up to 10 G's before I learned about Bitrix. And I started moving Bitcoin and stuff over to Bitrix and start trading over there. But you know what happened with that trading shit is I bought high and sold low a few times, like jumping around. Thinking you fucking watching, thinking you could recognize trends and shit. I just got outsmarted a few times. So I was like, man, I need to pull. You know how you could put money in US dollar? Those transaction fees were so high. Like you had to wait a while for the market to drop significantly. So then Bitcoin started going up and I feel like I missed it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me move over to Bitcoin. And got hooked. Of course, I was in that Genesis mining. I was in Genesis mining when you can buy Genesis mining contracts for Bitcoin. <laughs> they was begging motherfuckers to buy that shit. Now you can't get it, but back then I was all into that shit. I had different wallets where that those mining currencies was being pushed to, and then they get accumulated. I move it over. I play with that, and then once you put all your money into there, well, all you gonna invest into into coins, you can't do nothing. Well, once you learn that that is not best to trade all the times and you just want to hold, want to pop, oh, I need to hold. Once you learn that shit, you know, it, it takes a while for you to learn that shit. Um, but yeah, I learned that shit a long time ago. Uh, you like maxed out. There's nothing for you to do in crypto world besides fucking look at charts and shit and, and use your little mining money. Or, or, you know, you might want to just hold that Bitcoin mining money. Like, that's what I did. I wanted to hold my Bitcoin. So it was like boring. La, 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 la. I had to like pull money out my bank to to reinvest some more money. At least that's how I felt. So that's what got me into BitConnect. Because I learned about BitConnect way before, you know, when it first came out. But it was... All that scam talk. So it was like, don't fuck with it. So I didn't fuck with it. But then you kind of got a hold of some money. Shit start going up. So I start, my, my wallet turned to 40. So I start moving money. I already told you guys that fucking story. But anyway, that's how I got into BitConnect. Then I seen that wallet growing, growing, growing. That shit was 100K. Nigga, I'm cashing out $1,000 a day. That shit was way more funner than watching Litecoin go up than watching anything go up. Anything. Nigga, I had Digabyte or Jigab Digabyte when it was two cents and it then it dropped down to 0.05 cent. Digabyte. I had thousands of shares. I, mean, I knew about the technology. Fucking gaming shit. I don't even remember right now. But yeah, I went through all that shit.
And then I realized Linden platforms is way more funner. Anyway, let me let that shit go. Shouts out to everybody who want to use me in their story, man. I love that shit. Use my motherfucking name. You know, fucking just tag me. I don't know if you can tag in YouTube. I don't even know about YouTube that much. I've been on this bitch two weeks and nobody just know about me. That's really, really exciting. High energy, high energy. So my point today was like, I didn't, wasn't even sure. You know what? I was supposed to throw these motherfuckers in before I started the video. My shit is raw. I ain't retaking this shit. It's fucking late. Anyway, and plus I got a lot I got to show you. So, <coughs> yesterday, one of my <coughs> boys hit me up. He like, check out this video I made on FinCoin, FineCoin. I'm like, all right. So I watched it. it was seven minutes, ten minutes long, and it was dope though. I think he explained it real well. Um, so I made an account. I used his name. No, I ain't watching while and out. I don't even watch that shit. I don't know. It just came up next or something. But um, where the fuck? I got too many damn windows open. But all right. So here you go the fine coin joint, right? You could do you could watch somebody else's reviews. Everybody's doing reviews on it. That's not the point. I ain't gonna be able to find my boy's link right now, but I might type it in the description. Um, but I made an account. I didn't even want to tell nobody because I don't want to hear everybody talking about don't go into that. Buy this coin, this coin, and this coin. I've been in that coin, that coin, that coin. That shit boring. I want to have some fun. So anyway, I did it. All right. I sent over some Ripple to the site. I made an account. I sent over some Ripple. Y'all can figure it out from all the professionals out there who want to explain on how to work the site. Y'all figure it out from the professionals. I'm just sharing my side of the story, okay? Well, one thing I do want to say is when you, if you do send over Ripple, like I send over a few Ripple I had in my um, Bitrix account, and um, it had, when you send over Ripple, it tells you to uh, type in a fucking, a, um, damn, I gotta do all this fucking verification again. Here we go. Back, back. All right. So when you do the, um, my bad. I think I'm a little high today. Now, nah, you know what it was? I've been drinking. Oh, I always, you, know, you guys always see me drinking, but I'm a little more tipsier than normal. So anyway, so I did a little deposit right here, right? So you come down here, and I had to do this a couple of times because I'm retarded, especially when I'm faded. So this is your regular address, right? You got to put that in, but you also got to put in a Ripple tag. Hey, I never sent Ripple before. Never. First time sending Ripple, though. Hey, been in crypto a while, but never sent Ripple. So I did it. I sent the Ripple. Um, one thing I like about this site. Now, it is a lending platform, and I did say I wouldn't get in lending platforms. But this is what I like. Over here in the host staking. My bad. In the host staking. And y'all can figure out. You know what the whole staking is people could explain it a lot better than me but they paying you percentages daily it looks like they paying you on the dollar amount that you stake so if you stake ripple it looks like they paying you a dollar amount daily so if i stake all this ripple so one thing i wanted to do was figure out exactly what was the terms like True, you gotta learn from your mistakes. 
So um, I'm kind of proud of myself too, because usually I go to the casino once a month. I drive to Vegas and fucking play craps, and I pay with four hundred, you know, and I'll lose that four hundred, and then I'll go to bed, and tomorrow I'll start with a hundred. <laughs> like you, know, you didn't learn last night, and you lost four hundred. So I'm like, you know, fucking stupid. But anyway, this is a little different. So what I did was I hit the stake, right? So if you invest a, a hundred to a thousand dollars, the terms is 30 days. If you invest a thousand dollars, the terms is 20 days. You know what I'm saying? So my point, my point is you got better access to your money. And the way my boy put it, Oh, that, that wasn't a good point. Uh. <laughs> My point is, you got better access to your money. I'm not editing this shit, man. Fuck, I say fucked up shit sometimes, all the time. Especially when I'm faded with these damn teeth in my mouth, too. Man, I'm just trying to show you that I at least bought some teeth. You know? With that, and as a matter of fact, this with that Big, big Connect money, too. I just got these from Sloss and Swap Me, Mr. Beans. You should get you some too, man. You bitches. Hey, bitches be checking me out from way across the room. They be like, oh, that nigga think he's slick over there with your teeth. I be like, yeah. Bitch, wait until I whisper in your ear. Tell her what she want to hear. Anyway, so you guys got me off track with that shit. Um, so the staking... Oh, another thing too. Wait, do they give you dollar? You know what? I need to do more research. Because I heard they don't even deal with dollar. So that's what makes this site different. Now, I haven't done it yet, but I'm about to. And I ain't going to take you along with me because... Hey, it's going to take me forever to try to get through this talking to y'all motherfuckers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stake all of these um, little ripple coins. I'm going to see how it goes. And um, I holla. All right. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do no lending sites, but this one's different. All right. And I'm buying in with Ripple. And they only going to hold it for 30 days. Is that too long? <laughs> I'm sure y'all let me know. Anyway. Um, I'm about to light this blunt back up. I need to go to bed because I got to get up early. Hey, I ain't got to go into the house tomorrow, nigga. I'm going to be on the roof. I'm going to be on the roof with the beautiful views. Views, views of Los Angeles, and uh, with the palm trees and the nice weather, because you know it's fucking eighty degrees every day, even in motherfucking February. I should just saying global warming coming like a motherfucking. Make sure you got your earthquake money. Make sure you got your earthquake commodities ready to trade, baby. And we taking Bitcoin. Out.